guys, it's Dan from CryptoCamacho.com. And hey guys, I am quickly going to enter into this margin trade. I, I need to act quickly. I meant to get it when it was up higher. And actually, maybe I won't because it's already down. Eh, it's down 1%. So I missed that 1% opportunity because I was actually about to record <laughs> and I got sidetracked. But uh, I think I'm still going to take a small short position on this because if you look, the RSI right here, it's actually at 63. And then if you look down right here, it's at 57, yet the price has gone higher than that. So this is an indication to me that it's dropping. Also, the MACD histogram is falling as well, which is another indication to me that this is falling. So uh, I am going to enter this quickly. I'm not gonna take a very large position because um, I kind of missed out. Uh, on my opportunity here. I'm gonna go uh, with around five, let's see, let's do six, uh, let's do eight. We'll do six at uh, XMR, which is Monero. So I'm shorting Monero right now, and let's see, yes. And I'm doing this on a margin account using Coinigy and Polynex. So let's see if it actually takes here. I don't wanna do a second one. So somebody has to actually pick that up. See, I have an open order here. There it goes, boom. Now it's active, right? So now I have an active margin sell, hoping the price is going to drop below uh, 20, let's see what my base is here. Uh, my base price is 21.76, okay? So when I click on this uh, and I activate it, actually let me refresh this here real quick. Give me one second and I will refresh and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so enter to short here. If I click on active, typically, so right now I'm at a slight loss, right? It's just a, a like a, a very slight loss. Um, and I expect though that the price here for Monero is going to go down a bit. Um, so I just took that position, wanted to show you why. Um, and I did show you the RSI and the MACD, I need to pull it up because I refreshed my screen. Um, okay, so that's how it's done, guys. That's how it's done quickly. I should have done it when I was up at the top here. I could have gained an additional 1% and I did notice the opportunity there, but I got sidetracked and I was trying to record a video for you guys and I actually lost a percent while doing that, but I'm hoping this is gonna continue its downward trend, so no worries there. Another short sell that I entered earlier this morning was Factum in Bitcoin pairing on Polynex Exchange. And you can see that it did drop pretty significantly. So I entered about, uh, actually, let's just see. I entered this trade at 0 0.00233, right? Right about here. And, uh, and, and shortly after that, the price actually dropped pretty, pretty nicely. And I'm gonna show you again, the same exact strategy that I used before, right? So what I did is I noticed that the price was climbing up here. Uh, let me go to a different chart. I think this will help a little bit. Um, so what I did is I noticed that right here, the RSI, right? If you look right up here, RSI was about, guys, 68 and a half. The price was about 0 0.00236, right? Then I noticed that the price actually went up to 0.200238, so it did jump up slightly. However, the RSI dipped down at the same time, right? So you're looking for this kind of uh, this kind of strange pattern right here, and I know that's not a very good drawing, but as the RSI dips down and the price goes up, you're going to see the price start falling because the RSI is weakening or support for the particular, the, the certain price that we're at is weakening, right? So that's how that works, guys. Uh, and I wanted to let you know, because I am sitting on a slight profit, not very big right now, but I am shorting 244 Factum tokens, which is about three grand approximately. Um, if I click on active, I can see my profit right here is about 0.00229 Bitcoin. Not a tremendous amount, but it's actually a decent percentage, right? I mean, it's not a lot of money, but it's a decent percentage. And I'm doing this because I'm actually ramping up and practicing my margin trades and my short selling uh, on Coinigy, on Polynex, using this method, making sure that it's sound, making sure that it's working correctly before I start dropping a lot larger uh, uh, sums of money for short selling, okay? So this is what I'm doing right now. Wanted to show you that. And if I wanted to close the position, Coinigy actually makes it very, very simple. I literally just click on 
on my active position right here and I click close and it literally takes that profit and it adds it to my Polynex account directly from Coinigy, right? So on the back end, it handles everything here. All you have to do really is place the trades, either a, a, an open a short or open a long on a margin account on Polynex. Coinigy will do the rest and I'm loving this feature so far. Um, I do wish there was a few other kind of slight features, but right now I'm loving it. It's a brand new feature, so it's just kind of rolled out recently. Um, but I'm liking it so far. Let's check on my XMR uh, short so far. So far, nothing real big, but it, the, the downward trend continues. I expect this to go down um, likely to, you know, over the long haul, I think this is gonna go down decently well. Um, first, probably uh, we'll come back a little from right here, but then it'll likely go down a little bit further, like point zero two one five something like that and it actually just went up a little bit so um i expect it to go up a little and then it'll kind of yo-yo a little and then go back down but i wanted to show you this trade guys hopefully this has been helpful for you hopefully i don't get caught uh with my pants down on this particular trade for xmr because i did kind of do it um a little after the fact but uh, hopefully this is helpful and hopefully this is helping you guys make more money with your cryptocurrency by learning how to short sell i'm dan from CryptoCamacho.com. hope you enjoyed this video and i'll talk to you next time guys see you later